I need to. I need to get. I have a three quarter ounce in this. Do you think that's too light? Dude, I ain't got a clue. I know it won't work though. I need to rig one of those up. I didn't throw. That's one of the few things I that I it, didn't throw. I threw it a bunch here. today. Did you? Yeah. Now listen, I'll tell you how I do fish it now. You need current though, but I'll throw it out to let it hit the bottom and reel it real fast like the hair jig and let it fall. Reel it real fast, let it fall. They'll smoke it, dude. Whew. This baby right here has got to do some work tomorrow. So we're starting this video off the day before the tournament starts just because we've got to get up really early tomorrow morning. Like, this will literally be the earliest that I've ever blasted off in a tournament. We're blasting off at 5.30, so that means we need to be at the ramp at 4.30. means I need to be up at 3.30 in the morning. So 3.30 in the morning. This is crazy. I'm about 80-something. I've got till 3 o'clock to figure it out. Guys, look, we're on Gunnersville. Stop number seven. Gunnersville is a fabled fishery. It's a fantastic fishery, but it's fishing a little stingy right now. The time of the year, the conditions, the fish are just getting off the beds. They haven't moved out deep yet. There's way more grass this year than I've ever seen. So it's, they're just kind of lost in space right now. And so we're getting a few bites, but we're not finding that big school of fish like we like to find here on Gunnersville. So I have no idea what to expect for tomorrow morning. We're literally going to have to go out and fish. I've got a bunch of places I think I can catch them. I just don't know how big they are, and I just hope some of them turn into like four and five pounders because that would be like really awesome. So we're going to spend a little time tonight rigging tackle. You guys can kind of join with me on that, and then we're going to get up in the morning, and we're going to start the derby. Bassmaster Elite, stop number seven, Gunnersville Lake. There's our starting rods. We're gonna start on some riprap in the morning. We're about 80 something, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get on it or not, but there's a lot of riprap there, so I'll be able to get on some stuff. That's the plan. A little uh, jerk bait, top water, spinner bait, first thing in the morning, hopefully catch five. That would be awesome. Start the day off with five in the boat. Decent fish. Ooh, that'd, be, that'd be good. So now we have to get up at 3.30 in the morning which is the whole reason we started this video now. So it is now time to go to bed. Is it? I don't think it looks that bad. <laughs> it's gonna look like the Grinch. I didn't think the Grinch had any hair. Most mornings you look like the pants and the bear. Maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody from Tudor. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, is today the official record of the earliest we've been up this year? No. I think last tournament was. There, really? Yeah, because remember the day that got canceled? We got up at like. Yeah, three fifteen or something. It's crazy. Blasting off at five twenty, which is good because FLW, we used to blast off every day like at seven. That was just kind of their time. Every once in a while, 6.30. But it was always like, uh, if there was a shad spawn bite going on, you pretty much missed it at FLW. I never really even got to fish a shad spawn. Nine to five every tournament. Nine to five? Yeah. He said, why is he in here complaining about FLW not letting us go till seven? Well, that's two hours after more sleep. <laughs> Today's gonna be all about Patience. Because there's nothing fast and furious about going for that. We are just over two minutes away from takeoff here at the seventh stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Phenomenal lake, a lot of history. Um, it's fishing a little weird, so hopefully we can weird up about 17, 18 pounds a day, but um, still gonna take a lot of weight to do good. Um, I'm not really on much. We're just gonna keep practicing today. Hopefully just come across some four and five pounders that Gunnersville's known for. So uh, we'll go out there and 
see what we can do and uh, keep an open mind because this lake there's a lot changing right now every day and fish are trying to get out but they're just not uh, they're not quite there yet not good anyway at least not for me and uh, we're gonna keep looking keep looking hopefully we can catch 15 16 pounds been pretty tough practice uh, figured out a few ways to get some bites but uh, we got to go out there and try to catch five big ones so uh, it's gonna be interesting looking forward to it let's go have some fun guys all right guys we're getting ready to blast this thing off I want to say a huge shout out to favorite fishing rods right there they're presenting sponsor for this entire video series this video and the entire series so guys I've been fishing with favorite rods for several years now super balanced super durable super dependable and uh, and I've helped design a lot of these models so be sure to check them out we're gonna drop a link in the description down below if uh, if you need a new fishing rod check out the favorite rush series the six stick series and the new pro series so that's uh, awesome stuff. 7.3 Heavy is probably my favorite. It's going to start here in a minute. The one thing I'm noticing right now, you, here's a tip. you got to always evaluate the weather conditions right now. And so lots of wind, which is good for what I'm doing. I think it's good for everybody. But there's less clouds. There's actually zero clouds this morning. So it's going to get bright pretty quick. Chad spawn's going to end a lot faster this morning than it has. So we need to make something happen this morning pretty quick. We can, if we can pull off a nice limit first thing in the morning. That really changes things. But if not, we're just gonna put swim jig in our hand and go to work. Jerk bait too. That's the goal. What's the weight today? As much as I can catch. I mean, this is Gunnersville. You can't mess around. We were gonna be brave. True bit is how we made the crowd stand up. Come on, raise a cup, cause it nuts in love. Yeah. not as many people as I thought on this bridge, which is good. Just need to settle down and get five. They're here. Oh, I had him, dude. Oh. Man, I gotta find them again. They're right here on this corner. I mean, they should be. Let's make a move. We're not going real far. I'm gonna go do a deep spot I got. Oh yeah, too big and too. Feels big. God dang it! What? We don't want to do that too many times. Well, this spot here has potential to just get better every day.
Yeah, he's there. Hopefully he's 15. Fifteen. Two pounds. It's only one in. Well, I actually got a four and a couple twos around the corner. Let's go catch those real quick. Thank you, Lord. She's kind of staying put. I, I can see the shadow real close to where my bait is. So... Oh gosh, if that's a bass, there's a new one back. It's like an eight or nine pounder. That's an eight or nine, 10 pounder right there. Wow, that's a giant, but that's a new fish. That wasn't the same one. I mean, there was a good one there, but that's, that's a different fish. Got him, One hook. One hook again. Great man. Good work. Shot the rock. <laughs> garter on that corner if he's still there and it's catchable and then there was three or four giant ones on bluegill beds over here to the left but i couldn't get those to even like even think of i couldn't get them to flinch yeah 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 they're up there i mean i might be able to sneak up there and catch one
Got it. That's, that's a big, big one. one. That's the big one. Or that's a good one. No, it's not that big, but it's a good one. Stay on, baby. Ah, uh, no, it's not him. There was like a five pounder over there. I don't think he's even giving me the keeper. Probably not. <clears throat> Nope, 14 and a half. That's not even right, dude. That's not even right. All right. That was like a twist. That was a twist flip. It was an interesting release. Yeah, there was a five pounder over there yesterday. Right exactly there. There he is. There he is. Maybe a keeper, maybe. Maybe 15. Nope. It's ridiculous, dude. There's a good one. There's a good one. That's a big one right there, dude. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Please, Lord, stay on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! There we go. There we go. We can catch them now, dude. I'm just in the right spot now. I'm out of that wind. Two and a... Two and something. Two and a, two and a quarter. Thank you, Lord. Let's just get five good ones in the boat. Five good ones, yeah. Let's make something happen. Thank you, Lord. That felt good. That felt really good, guys. I can fish. This is a little better wind-wise. All my other stuff was just ripping. And, I, and I, I guess it just pushes that grass over so much and just just changes everything. Good one. Another good one. Uh, yeah, I think that's a keeper. Yeah, he's long. He's long. He's long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Just like that, we've gone from gone from bleak to hopeful. I love this little swim jig. I'm telling you, I, there's a there's a potential here that that I mean, like I'm telling you right now, like something big could happen right here. Jake. Number five. That's a good chunk right there. Yeah, he's 15. Put him on, put him on my, he's probably on my big side right there. All right, two and a half. Thank you, Lord. I don't deserve it, but thank you. It's a perfect example, guys, of just staying focused, thinking and adjusting and just, you know, not giving up, honestly. I mean, I'm far from where I need to be still, but I can actually, for the first time, see potential here. I can see potential of something special. We salvaged the day so far. We just need to catch a couple big ones, which I think we can. Oh, 
That's a big one, dude. I mean, a big one. Oh my gosh. A giant. I mean, for real. I mean, like a, a giant. Oh, it's a, uh, it is a giant. Look at this thing. Eight pound smallmouth. God, I thought that was him. I literally thought that was him. I mean, right where, right where he was supposed to bite too. I was like, man, there's my eight pounder. There he is. Might be two pounds. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. 171. That helps divine ounce. 171. Ten minutes. Last cast. guys when we made it in I mean I don't have a good excuse to be honest with you uh, I'm not too terribly disappointed because practice was pretty awful you know it, it, my other places got blown out that's that's what happened the wind and everything just destroyed it but I, I know for a fact I can go into that area tomorrow and have a good shot at a, at a good bag and then I can run over to the other side which we didn't even hit today we just have to fish grass that's not super windy because it just blows the grass over. So that's the deal. I think we figured something out. Let's go weigh these things out and see what happens. gonna sugarcoat it nothing was working everything was a disaster but I got five and I did learn something actually the only thing like like there's potential I'm seeing some potential here so you know we're not gonna be anywhere close to where we need to be but you know what we survived guys that's just the way it is Five small ones is way better than four small ones and way better than three small ones and way better than two small ones that I was stuck on earlier. So coming Alabama let's hear it for one of your very own the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama Scott Canterbury five fish for Scott Canterbury here today looking for 1411 to take the lead in his home state 14 pounds five ounces just six ounces short of the overall lead what a decent start on day number one here at the Berkeley Bassmaster Elite on Lake Gunnersville. So Scott, it seems like we are stuck in a perpetual spring. It has been spring for the last six months. Am I wrong or right? It has, it really has. It's been the uh, longest drawn out spring that I can ever remember. And it's, it's changed the fishing for sure. The fish should be way ahead of where they're at, but uh, they're in here and uh, guys are catching them, I know. But it's been tough on me. I've just been struggling around trying to catch five and uh, caught a few decent ones today. Glad to be here. Glad to see a crowd again for, uh, and look forward to getting back out there tomorrow and see if we can catch five more. You know, day one went pretty good. You know, I ended up catching uh, 14, a little over 14 pounds, middle of the pack. So uh, got to get out and catch them again tomorrow. It's a tough bite. It was really, really tough. I didn't get a whole lot of bites, but uh, ended 
ended up catching 14. Need to catch a little bit bigger bag tomorrow, move up a little bit. Just need to get some points. Looking forward to it. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Derek Hucknall. Derek Hucknall with five fish here today. Like a good start to things. The 16-3 to take the lead. Five all alive. 16 pounds, five ounces. 16-5, two ounces in the right direction. And Derek Hudnall is now your brand new leader at the Berkeley Bassmaster Elite on Lake Gunnersville. All the way from Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen, Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Caleb Kufal. Caleb Kofal, according to Bass Live, took the lead early on today and did not let it go. Oh my word. Somebody went to the Piggly Wiggly and came back with a whole sack full. Five fish all alive. Caleb Kufal, 27 pounds, 10 ounces, 27, 10, and Caleb Kufal blows the tours off this derby on day number one. Three cuts in a row, looking to keep it going from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Matt Airy, multiple weigh-in songs. I fish here today. He's got a mix he brings us. 15 pounds, four ounces, moves into 25th place. And Matt, you, uh, uncharacteristically tough start to the season for you but man you've really turned it around the last few events inside the cut and uh doing your job again here this week yeah i think that classic pressure got to me a little bit because the classic next year is an hour and a half from the house and you get to thinking about that and you know your mind gets to wonder and you start making dumb decisions but we, we've righted the ship we got a good start here we need to do it again tomorrow but i'm glad to see you back too dave so glad to be back. always always good to see you but uh it's just not typical gunnersville to me in may it's fishing really weird and the fish are really scattered, and when you get a bite, I can't, I can't seem to duplicate it, and I'm just having to move around and cover a lot of water. Great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. I got a big bite. I mean, that was the difference. If not, I'd have had 12 pounds, um, like the rest of the field, but I caught a six-pounder today. I actually had another big one on, um, and it jumped off, so I need to get one or two of those big bites tomorrow, and we'll be fishing the weekend, so I've uh, got to go out there and uh, duplicate what we did today. If not, pick up the pace a little bit and uh, get back in this thing. You know, Cup Hall set a pretty high mark with 27 pounds. That was that was pretty unreal, and uh, hats off to him. I don't know how he caught him or where he caught him, but after this tournament's over, I'll be interested to find out how he whacked 27 pounds. So, um, hey, go after tomorrow, try to catch 16, 17, 18 pounds, and uh, move up a little bit. Caught off a win just last week. He's a former Bass Nation National Champion, a former Angler of the Year, and a six-time Bassmaster winner from Rathdrum, Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. Five fish here today for 20 pounds, 12 ounces, 2012, and the prodigy rockets into second place here on day number one of the Berkeley Bassmaster Elite. A seven-time FLW Tour winner. His first season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. Scott Martin with five fish here today. Kick off. This is the seventh stop of his first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish here today. Ten pounds, nine ounces, which in 76th place. Not a spot you're used to hanging out in. But the good news is, it doesn't matter what place you're in after day number one. It all matters about how it shakes out once it's done. Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing to be honest with you. It's Gunnersville, it's full of grass, there's big large mouth in here. I did not, did not find them, but you know what? I learned a little bit today. Caught most of what I caught, which isn't much in the last couple of hours. Kind of got dialed in and settled in, so looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing how it shakes out. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. You know, that's painful right there, guys. I mean, it's going to be an 80th place or so. But you know what? There's two days to qualify. Two days. Does have no, doesn't matter at all today. Just kind of a positioning tool, right? So I just need to just get my stuff together, get out there tomorrow, and have a much better day. And then slide it in the top 50. That's the goal. That's the, that's the goal. Top 50 right now and then we can make it up from there. I do want to create my own NFT. It's not hard. I'm going to make an NF NFT 
of, of a small little two pound bass. I, I, I don't think anybody would buy an NFT that I made, but maybe that'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get into NFTs. It could just be something you sell for five bucks. There we go. Could be fun. NFTs. All I know is that there's actually more sushi weight of raw tuna in that bag than I caught today. And these jokers in here holding out on me. It's supposed to be like some kind of some kind of team around here. Good yeah, job, yeah. boys. Good job. Holding out on me. Why didn't you tell me about the six pounder, man? I mean, why didn't you tell me about that spot? <laughs> How'd you get a limb? Uh, I just put that damn jig in my hand. Got up some grass down there by Browns, or in Browns. Down there, I yeah. started fishing the pumps. Dude, it's just a whole swarm of bees, dude. And I'm like three, four hundred yards from any bank. Like McCoy said, it must have been a whole swarm, like a, like legitimately, like a swarm. Yeah, a whole swarm. Watch this. This is funnier than there bees. Is. What's Brian name? Oh yeah, I watched watch it. Make earlier. a cast. <laughs> <laughs> that was today. <laughs> really? <laughs> it stepped off the boat into the lake. Oh my gosh. So what'd you do with the bees? That's what I was trying to show you, dude. That's when I start noticing them. <laughs> <laughs> you like what? They landing on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're down everywhere. I'm gonna take my jerk bait and I start swinging at them. Oh my god! I mean, every look, see them all landing on the seat back there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch, watch this. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> That's just bad. <laughs> I just buried what? it. Now I'm like, damn, how am I going to get my jerk bait? <laughs> Bees everywhere. Oh, gosh. <laughs> What's up? I've got, I've got How are you doing? Gunnersville. <laughs> yeah. It's hey, Will, Will's put us on him. Will, Will is the, the real deal. What what have y'all caught? Oh, a lot of a lot of well, about kind of like what we did in the fall. Well, not that. But, but a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Really? 130, 130. Hundred he's catching a hundred smallmouth. God. He's up there where we did the uh Oh yeah, Messina. That's good. He's a madman, Scott. He's a. a He's the Iron Man. He's the Iron Man. Yeah, yes, I'm gonna have to. I have to pull my inner. I have to pull my inner uh, Iron Man out for tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, you better. You better. Thanks, Scott. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> hey. How'd you do better today? Oh, I did. A, I did great. I beat 18 people today. <laughs> you beat how many? 18. I beat 18 people today. Oh, you beat 18. Oh, I don't know. Did they cut that field back to 20? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be where I could beat 18, 18 people at 20. That's about where it's at. That's about where it's at. I think I'm, I'm, I'm not doing good. I got to catch them tomorrow. Yeah, you do. What, what's leaving? Oh, only 27. 27. Only 27. Only 27. Yeah, I, I had 10. I could fish a whole other week. I can't catch twenty-seven yeah, combined. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna catch them now. I just got I just got my dad give me some mojo, even though he had food on his face. He like shrimp or something. <laughs> and then Jimmy Houston. Jimmy Houston. I got Jimmy Houston. Dude, I, I I passed out. All right, I gotta go rig up some tackle. I gotta rig up eighteen pound bag tackle. I'm racking my brain. Here's the issue. It's like, you know, there's just not that many good fish up on those shallow humps with grass. No, I mean, you get 
lucky to catch a random good one. Right. Like during practice, you know, I mean, I caught, I ate that one day and two and a half pounds about the biggest one. Right. So if it's going to take 27, you need to take 27 to make the cut? I think 27 would do it for sure. So 16 and a half pounds. I need 16 and a half. 16. I mean, if you catch a really big one, you can go fill your limit. Right. You know, or you, I mean, there's a few big ones up there. Matt caught a big one today. But that's one big one. Yeah. I put in as many hours as anybody in three days, and I ain't caught a big one yet. I know. It's so crazy, man. It's crazy to think we're on Gunnersville and it's just kind of messed up. You know? It's been spring for two months. Right. Eight weeks of spring, and today it got hot. Tomorrow it's yeah. going to get hot. They're moving out. Right. We're just a week or maybe even two weeks early. A week but early, anyhow. I think a lot of those guys, you know, you, you, I think a lot of the guys that caught, like, bluegill fish and spawning fish, I mean, they have, their numbers have to go plummet way down. Plummet. Like, there's not an overabundance of those fish. And there are no, none coming. Right. There's no new ones coming. They're not coming to you if you're fishing shallow. Oh, man. You know, it's uh, 10 pounds in my mind when I when I finally got my limit today. I was thinking, like, I breathe, I breathe a little sigh of relief. Like, okay. Because, you know, how embarrassing would it be coming in with, like, two fish? You know, you'd be, like, I've literally dead last. I've done it this yeah. year. But you got to th- I mean... I caught that last one was the best fish I had. Yeah. 14 pounds, dude. I thought I was going to be doing good. Yeah. I mean, really, after the yeah. practice, I said, this, I'll be just sitting all right. Yeah. I'm like five ounces into the cut. So, I mean, you got to catch them. I mean, it's crazy. Whatever lives in the lake is what these guys are going to catch yeah. every time. I like when you said that. It's so true. What's it going to take? It's what lives here. <laughs> They're going to figure out a way. To, somebody's going to figure out a way to catch what lives there. I'm fishing my guts out, okay? I'm going to fish my guts out tomorrow for you guys. I have no idea what to expect tomorrow. I really don't. Um, it's one of those deals where I don't know how to target a big fish necessarily, but I'm just going to go let it hang out, right? I mean, I, 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 I know how to catch them. I've been in this position before. You can't win every tournament, but dang it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out how to catch a big bag tomorrow and move up. I mean, that's the goal. Appreciate all the support, guys. I mean, I'm busting my tail out here. Um, this is all serious. I mean, I, this was one of the tournaments I even said to McCoy but when we pulled into town. I'm like, dude, look, dude, this is this is serious. I'm twitching gears. And um, the results didn't show, but we're working hard. I appreciate the support, guys. We're going to pull this thing off somehow. End goal, Bassmaster Classic. That's what we want to do. And uh, go to bed, get some rest. Good morning. Man, this is like night vision, dude. I cannot see y'all at all. I turn the camera up and there you are. Good morning. Man, y'all got this fan on. Freaking blast, bro. Things on blast. Morning. Morning, morning. Good morning. You look like a big old fan. You say you've been up till, since two? I'm good luck now. That's my good luck right Oh my, your dog. You pet me? You're my Paddington. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I've been up since two, dude. Wow. Stress. Like, this isn't funny anymore, dude. Look, I don't mean to complain. Look, we've all had bad tournaments, right? But this is... This is Gunnersville. It's full of big, giant bass. It's full of grass. It's actually too much grass, which is kind of crazy for me to even say. I never think I'd ever say that. But it's... The, the eelgrass is an issue. But any, anyways, that's a whole other conversation. But... Ten pounds. Ten pounds. And after practice, I kind of thought 10 pounds might, I mean, it, I knew it was going to be great, but I kind of thought it would be a little better than where I'm at now. So, I have got to figure out a way, like I've been saying, 16 pounds, at least 16 pounds today. I think i got to go catch everything I can catch on that jig. Let's get 10 or 12 pounds on the jig. Possibly a bonus fish like Matt did. He had a six-pounder doing it on a jerkbait, same area. But anyways... Let's go get that and then run on bluegill beds, top water, throwing some worms, looking for like a four or five pounder cruising around. That could be the deal. Or getting out there on the main river and literally taking a jig and just flipping some of that grass out there on the main river. So that that's kind of what I have to do. 
you know, get a little bit of a shorter day today, but it's not a big deal. But where to start, right? Where to start yesterday? I started on that shad spawn thing. It did not work. I've got another area that had a lot of shad, but didn't have any bass a couple days ago. We're going to try that today. So that's the deal, guys. Day two is starting right now. Um, man, Ari and Scott Canterbury, they did good yesterday. They did pretty good. So they're right there where they need to be. Hopefully they'll make the cut. Let's go get this thing done, guys. All right, y'all, we're sitting here day two at Lake Huntersville. Oh, it's uh, it's cut day, it's moving day. So uh, we had 15, 15 and some change yesterday. Luckily, we got a big bite, and we're gonna need that again today. I mean, I hate to say it, but these guys are catching a lot better than we thought they would. They always do. And uh, we gotta go out there and then uh, put our head down and go to work. We gotta catch, uh, we need to get somewhere in the teens today to, to, to stay in good position. Preferably, we need to somehow bump 20 pounds to get back in the, this race, but, uh, you know, it's hard to do that right now in the Big G, so we're just going to keep a positive attitude, keep our head down, fish hard all day, and, and hope for a couple good quality bites. All right, guys, so check this out. Caleb Cupnall is right there getting his boat ready. He had uh, 2710 yesterday. So he is in the he's he's in the front runner seat right there. That's a big bag for here. I mean, you know, when we got here, everybody kept saying the lake is fishing tough, which it is, and everybody kept saying, man, like, it's going to be very hard to get over a 20-pound bag. And he busted that up really good, 28 pounds, basically. Then right behind that, you've got Todd Otten. Todd Otten's on the Team Garmin with us. I saw him quite a few times yesterday. He had 21 pounds. And then, of course, Brandon Paulnick did well. As, as, again, he did 20 pounds, I think. So that's basically the top three. And then I think 10th place is about 20 pounds or 19 or so and change. So they caught him a lot better. But Caleb Cutnall, Todd Otten. And Brandon Paul took the three to watch in this tournament. In the middle yesterday, you needed to catch a little more. I'm in 37th, so uh, rigged up. It's a big day. Need to go out and catch 16 pounds, try to get out of here a little early. Got Taylor's graduation tonight. I'm looking forward to that. Eight wins, Eight wins on the FL Double Tour. Tour. Eight Eight wins from Florida. Scott chatterbait on. I was like, why is this thing pulling so funny? It's because it was a spitterbait. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. That's good. Let's make something happen right here. Let's make something happen. Huh? That's right. There he is. <sighs> He's not going to be a keeper. Not going to be a keeper, but maybe there's a wad up there. I feel like the shatter way up. Way up there. Oh, that was a bite. Dang it, that was a bite. Look at that. <laughs> you want to know if the swim jig is the right color? Look at that. Might be able to catch 10 pounds here real fast. I caught a couple here yesterday, but I think that Jerk bait's not gonna play as much today. That little jig may be important. If they're there, I should get bit the next two casts.
Oh, he had it. Dang it. Got him. Ski bass. All right, number one, two pounds. They're way up there. There he is. That's how they were supposed to bite yesterday. Except these are little spots. Yeah. I'm hoping there'll be a... Although I caught some three pound spots out here the other day. Nope. Well, that sucked. They're way back there, man. This is a better fish here. Oh yeah, that's a good one there, dude. That's a good one there. Oh my gosh. Please stay on. It's a big one right here, dude. They're way up on that flat. Five pounder. Yeah, that helps. That helps. Been looking for this one for several days. <laughs> Put this one on the on the big side. Five, what do you think? Four and a half? Four, four and a quarter? And a quarter. Yeah. There he is. Oh, another big one, dude. Oh yeah, giant. Oh my gosh. This is him, dude. This is big, big. Big, big, big. Oh, please, Lord. This is giant, dude. Please, Lord. Another four, dude. Oh yeah, it's bigger than the other one. Yeah, woo! We cooking now, baby. We cooking now. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Somebody's praying for me right now, buddy. Well, thank you. That's bigger than the other one, dude. That's five. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, how about that, dude? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. There we go. That's the cast right there. That's the cast right there. There he is. Oh, another big one, dude. Yep. Feels giant, dude. I don't know. I don't know what he is. 
He hadn't really shook his head yet. I don't even think he knows he's hooked. Dude, thank you, Lord. That's two and a half. Is that four now? Dude, this made the cut right here, dude. Give me one more five. Thank you, Jesus. Dude, my daughter, I know she's, I know Hillary's praying at school right now, dude. That just almost gives me chills. Come on, baby. One more big. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. Big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. It's a seven or eight pounder, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Boof! Boof! Woo! Woo! Boom! We did it, dude! Wow! Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna cry. Come on, bring it in, man. We gotta do a little hug. We can do it. Oh. Call mama and tell her to get on a plane. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Just put it as cut. Just type in cut. <laughs> <laughs> What's this say I have? Really? <laughs> 1915. That's definitely the cut, dude. You know, I never threw that far up yesterday. When I graphed them and found them in practice, they were up that far. Cause I was sitting on that side throwing this way, catching them. No, I got a five, a four and a six. And then two small ones. Man, I'm so glad I stopped here, dude. I almost didn't. I mean, I was like, it wouldn't have been in my mind at first. And then I got about five miles from around. I was like, you know, I could whip in there real quick. And if they're biting, I'll catch two or three spots real fast. They might weigh. Whatever. There he is, there he is. Got him. Uh, no, that's a good one, yeah. Two and a half. No, nah, it might not help. Uh. It might not help. A little of the same thing. I actually fished this spot yesterday morning as well, um, but the fish moved just a slight bit, and I've refound them today. But you know, there's mostly big spots like this. These are all like two, two and a half pound spots. But I kind of had a feeling that um, I had a feeling that some of those big largemouth that are coming out of these bays, a huge spawning area right here beside us, that maybe some largemouth might start to show up this week with it getting real hot. And that's, I think that's what's happened. So I caught, you know, f three really big ones. And uh, yeah, this helps me about a quarter pound. So that's gonna be good. Um, you know, like I said, I fished it yesterday. Here, step over here if you would. I'm gonna open this up. <clears throat> and I fished it in the morning and I fished it on the way in, but I didn't catch any largemouth. So they've showed up, which is good. Bite. Another spot. I think it's a little one again. Yeah. I hate burning all these spots up. Yeah, with him. Uh,
hours early. Call it like a 112. Keep seeing fish on the panoptics right over here on this. The, the, we're in a turn, by the way. And I've, I've seen them every well, the last two days right there. And I have yet to get a bite. Oh. I don't know what they are. They're like they're on the bottom, like they're supposed to be. There's shell there. That's good. I don't want to catch them there. They got to be there. This whole thing's a, a shell turn. So guys, I'll give you a tip. So when I found this spot, I graphed it. Garmin side view and down view. Followed this little channel swing. It kind of zigzags back and forth through here. And um, and saw the fish. They showed up really, really good on my graph. And in the practice video, I actually was filming whenever we found them. And you'll see me talking about seeing all three of the units, the traditional, the clear view, and the down view, all showing the same results. It's like, boom, 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 we're gonna wreck them. And so, we caught fish here now in the tournament i threw a worm this heavy this heavy worm the minute i threw the worm i realized there's a shell bed here i couldn't see the shell bed couldn't tell it just looked like regular drop off but because i'm dragging this worm on the bottom it's a solid shell right here only there's no shell over here and i'm getting all my bites on the shell so my, my point is and my tip to anybody that's fishing deep is always, whether you're even catching them or not, have a big, heavy, like one ounce football jig on. When you graph a spot and you're like, man, those look like fish or they're here, like throw it there and see if it's a shell bed. Because if it's a shell bed, that makes the spot even more important. 
You know what I mean? It holds them here. Like they'll always be right here. They won't ever be over in the mud laying. So, little tip, little tip on fishing deep. All right, guys, we just busted up a pretty good bag of fish. Now it's time to go try to find a few more schools. We can find a few more schools. It could get really interesting. I, I don't know what I can catch off that spot tomorrow, but what a blessing, you know? Then we just need to go out there. and If we can find two or three more little deep spots, and I don't think I'm going to go fish the grass stuff. I think I'm going to save that for when I need it. I don't the two pounders are obviously just wasting time. So if I can find a couple more schools out deep, things could happen. Because I know I know this, the fish are coming out. They're not going shallow. There's, there's not any more bluegill fish showing up or any more spawning fish. They're all heading out this way. Biggin, dude. Yeah, biggin. I think. I just don't know. I don't think he helps me, but I don't know. He might. By a little bit. Dude, that was crazy. Did you see what I did? I had grass or something on my bait. So I stopped and I went, pow, 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 popped it. And he grabbed it. They're, they're liking that reaction. I did that over there at the other school too. When I first fired them up, when I first caught them, the very first time I got them to bite, the good ones, I snapped that rod four or five times. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I think so. Is it two? Two? Two and a half. Helps me with a quarter pound. Yeah. There's some, there's some fish up in the shallow parts of these humps. Bluegill are spawning up there. Catch, you can catch them, but like I said yesterday, I didn't fish these humps. I fished the humps over there in Browns, and they were just two pounders, two and a quarters. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it in. What a difference in days, huh? Went from like last in the tournament, shot way up the leaderboard today. Valuable points, learned some stuff, and we had an awesome time. So, man, hey, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was, I was down in the dumps. You saw it, I know you heard it in my voice, you saw it in my face, but that was a lot of fun today, guys. We learned a few things, we found some new fish, and uh, hopefully we can catch them like that tomorrow. So, let's go see what these things weigh. Hopefully Matt and them caught them as well. And Canterbury. Canterbury really needs a good tournament on this, so we're pulling for Canterbury and, of course, Matt. Our tournament leader from Wisconsin, Caleb Kufal. Took a win on Smith Lake in the open, searching down his first Elite Series win. Needs 3 6 to take the lead. Not a problem. 15 pounds, 10 ounces, with 43 pounds, 4 ounces, 
Caleb Kufal is leading this tournament by a giant margin at this point. Let's bring out a two-time FLW Tour winner, a two-time classic qualifier from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Matt Airy, a proud member of Team Toyota, had 15 pounds, four ounces yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. 12 pounds even gives him 27 pounds, four ounces, and he moves into sixth place currently. And uh, Gunnersville seems very different this time around. I mean, even our leaders are, we've got a guy with a 10 pound lead in this tournament. He's talking about it being grindy, but it kind of is because of, there's nothing real solid, it seems. It is, I mean, I, 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 I'm getting a lot of bites, but I'm just fishing in the grass. That's something I've never even done when I've come here. I've always fished offshore this time of year. And, and it's definitely a different ball game this time around. And, and I don't know what it's due to. Maybe there's just, there's more grass than I've ever seen in this lake. Uh, the water's cleaner than I've ever seen it in this lake. Um, so I'm catching them a, a lot of different ways, but mainly on the dirt bait. And you keep getting a lot of bites, just not catching any big ones. Well, I hope it's enough to get you in I there. I hope so, too. <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed and find out at the end of the way. And top 48 fish on semifinal Saturday. All right, so we weighed in 12 pounds today. We had a, um, unfortunately, we had a little casualty today. It cost us four ounces, but hopefully that doesn't cost us a cut. Fingers crossed that we get the fish tomorrow. Um, if we do get the fish tomorrow, I'm not really sure what we're going to do yet, but I do have a roommate that whacked him pretty good today. He went from 10 pounds to whatever he's got to eat, whatever he's got in his bag. It's a mega bag. So um, anyway, going to regroup tonight, keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we get the fish tomorrow, and if we do, we need a couple of those big bites to run back up the leaderboard. Tournament's hot of a win at our last Elite Series event from Springville, Alabama. Elite Series champion, the little ball of hate, Wes Logan. Starting today with 14 pounds and an ounce, five fish to add to that. Look out, 20 pounds, 12 ounces with 34 pounds, 13 ounces. The little ball of hate is trying to go back to back on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He moves into second place currently. Next up, let's bring up the 2011 Force Wood Cup champion, a seven time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. 10 pounds, nine ounces yesterday, a much better day today. Watch the scales. Five fish all alive. 19 pounds, 11 ounces. 19, 11, and Scott Martin rockets into the top 10 in seventh place currently with 30 pounds and four ounces. What a day two rally by Scott Martin. When you almost double your weight from day number one, you know you're going in the right direction. And man, a giant rally for you. And in the nick of time, perfect timing with the season moving on. Today was a critical, critical day for you. I'm not going to lie. Today felt pretty good. You know, it was a lot of fun. You know, it's uh, it, it's one of those deals where I, I fished a lot of the same water. Just made some adjustments out there and settled down. And got really blessed and caught those, those three of those really nice ones this morning. But... You know, it, it's yeah. This morning, I didn't even sleep last night. I was so beside myself, thinking like, "Oh, I'm gonna finish out the year, the last two tournaments." You know, biting my nails, having to catch them, and uh, so it's just a true blessing. The Lord blessed me today catching these fish, and I know my wife's at home watching. Hey, honey, did it for you, and uh, my daughter Hillary and Amelia are there watching as well. And the coolest part today was my son Jacob was in the camera boat filming that with the big camera, so we captured all this for the YouTube channel. And there's a really a lot of cool emotional stuff today, so. Hopefully get out there tomorrow, whack them up, and we'll see what happens. I love watching your YouTube videos. Can't wait to check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Scott Martin. It makes me mad I didn't have 20. Like, I know that sounds selfish, but like 20 is like a mark, you know. It's like a mark that you want try to try to hit. Hopefully uh, Canterbury makes it. That'd be awesome if we could all three make it. We'll start a whole other video with all three of us again. That would be pretty epic, actually. And uh, thank you, McCoy. We're not going to go film a TV show tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> got more important things to do so that was awesome a lot of fun and uh, let's go see what happens another one of our elite series rookies from Alabama Justin Hamner Justin Hamner had 10 pounds six ounces yesterday five fish to add to that here today 19.9 gives him 29 pounds 15 ounces and it is Christmas Day for Justin Hamner a big big rally with 29 pounds 15 ounces the elite series rookie is ready to go to work here on semi-final saturday Let's bring on one of your very own the 2019 elite series angler of the year 
Mountains from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Fourteen pounds of five ounces yesterday. Five fists had that here today. Thirteen pounds, twelve ounces gives him twenty-eight pounds and an ounce, and moves him into thirty-third place currently. And uh, you've done enough to get in there for now. Hopefully, it's enough to stay in there. Yeah, that's a little more than I thought I had. It's been a tough bite on me. I mean, I'm just running around grinding as much as I can, trying to catch some. Not going to take much time. I got to get to my daughter's graduation. So, uh, thanks. Hopefully, I'll be here back tomorrow. It's about a two-hour drive, but hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Go on, get, and happy graduation to your daughter. That's a great father right there, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Appreciate right, you, guys. You know, hopefully, uh, that'll make it. I had 13, 12, a little more than I thought I had. So, I'm at 28 pounds. Uh, hopefully, I'll get in, but going to see a graduation right now. What you got rocking? Ah, cooking a little cheap spaghetti. Cheap spaghetti? Uh, cheap spaghetti. Why is it cheap? Because I, when I make spaghetti, I'm, I chop all my ingredients up and I make I make it homemade, like truly homemade. But when you're on the road, you don't have many options. So you and McCoy were nice enough to go to the store. So normally I would never cook, but we finished in 51st place. <laughs> so we're not fishing tomorrow, so I'm actually cooking. That was a thing. There was just a spoon sitting here. Yeah, it was this is... Matt Airy's special recipe right no, here. No, it's not. That's what they bought. I'm tired of y'all saying that. This is if I cook spaghetti, you would Everybody brags else. about it. I can't wait to try and, it. And I use deer burger, too. Do you really? Oh, yeah. Anytime we make spaghetti in the house, we use deer burger. That's true. Why wouldn't you use deer burger? Hey, Airy. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the pasta, dude. It's you know, really good. Bussin. Bussin. Did you just say bussin? It's bussin. Yeah. I guess that's good. Oh, yeah. All right, so it is uh, about 30 minutes before dark and I am rigging up stuff for tomorrow. We did it, we did it. I, I don't know, the top 25, I think 25th place right now, but that's saying a lot from, literally went from 81st to to where I'm at now. So, uh, you know guys, we've got to shot this thing, believe it or not. I mean, I just need to catch obviously another big, big bag, maybe even bigger and try to sneak into the top 10. Um, you know, that being said, I had a lot of fun today and that was the main goal. You know, when I, I, I got, and that was a, the, probably the biggest, best piece of advice that I gave in this video so far. And I'm glad that I said it cause it helped me, spoke to me was that, you know, for me to have a chance to have a big bag, I need to go out and have fun. I need to just let it all hang out and have fun. Don't get too stressed out. If I get, you get too stressed out, you overthink things. And, uh, even though I didn't catch any fish, the first two spots, I was still having a good time. I was just staying free. I wasn't getting panicked. And I thought, hey, let me stop here on this spot where, you know, we actually fished here yesterday and didn't catch you those big ones. So patience paid off in this one. We gotta try to pull something off tomorrow to make day four. So guys, that is it. Scott Canterbury and I made the finals. Top 50 cut, top 48 actually. And uh, unfortunately, Matt did not make it. I just can't believe that even happened. God, a dead fish penalty cost him. He missed the cut by one ounce, one ounce. That's the importance of weighing your fish properly and culling properly. But that being said, hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Um, you know, I had a ball hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the support you guys give us on the channel. And uh, we're putting a lot of hard work in. Dylan, McCoy, Jacob, we're all working our tails off trying to produce good content. So do me a huge favor, if you don't mind, just smash the like button and do one other thing for me. It's very important. Share the video out. If you have Facebook, take the link, share it on Facebook, tell everybody how great the series is and uh, we want to get more people watching it. So guys, that is it. We're going to leave you here, and the next video you watch in the series is going to be Gunnersville. We made the cut. That's right, baby. Bam!